Hi there. This presentation is coming to you from Git Data Solution. I'm Sufi. Today I'm going to present Best Project Performance Dashboard. This dashboard is created for Oromia region. Oromia region has 21 zones. You'll see the map and the zones in the next slide. Um, I would also like to declare that I will give this dashboard for the office that coordinate projects in Oromia so that they can benefit from this dashboard to track their project performance. Uh, please follow up to the end so that you will actually see also a short video that show interactively changing when you actually see the data by different parameters and see the data in, and the dashboard explanation in the next slides. This dashboard is for Oromia development project. I'm going to quickly go into the very summary of the content of the dashboard and come back again in detail for each element of the dashboard. We can see the dashboard by different slicers. For example, we can see by cluster, we can see by zones, we can see by project category, for example, education project, health project, water project, and so on. You can also see by implementation year and by WORADA as well. Yes, this uh, dashboard is created using demo data, which is for one year, but you can actually insert additional data as well for the future. So it is very interesting interactive which we'll, uh, we'll see at the end of uh, this dashboard which shows the demonstration as well so coming to the element the first one is the total number of projects uh, implemented in that year the second one shows the total budget spent on those projects and the third one is the number of people benefited from those projects in the middle, we have three pie charts. The first part, pie chart shows the proportion of project by different project category. The second one is the proportion of budgets utilized by different uh, project category. And the third one is the number of people benefited by different project category. The red the column and chart shows the number of projects implemented by cluster and by year. And the line chart shows the number of projects by different project categories. And the last one shows additional data for some specific sector, which we are going to see it in the detail part. So, what is the content of this dashboard in general? The content is for Oromia development project performance and the report is generated by number of projects, the amount of budget spent on those projects, 
the number of households or beneficiary benefit from those projects, the number and the percent proportion of project by project category, percent of budget and household benefited from those projects, and additional uh, element for some sectors. So that is the content. The data is sliced and viewed by five parameters as follows. You can see the data by physical year. You can see by clusters, by zones, by project category and Worada. So you can see all those data with your preference slicer and parameter. The purpose of this dashboard is to track Oromia development project in one system and the modern way and share to all concerned actors and to ensure accountability. The other purpose is also to serve to identify future gaps and use for planning. It can be used for planning purpose as well. The other is to keep data in one place and use for project uh, policy action and directions. Okay, that's also possible using this dashboard. You can uh, use it for policy action and direction. To make trend analysis, for whom? This dashboard is for Oromia regional government and all sectors in the region. And specifically, it's also very useful for office coordinating development projects and for zones and Orada in the region. This is a data entry table. You will insert the data in this table and get that beautiful dashboard and you can insert the data for future years and you can click the dashboard with a single click and update the data and the report as well so let's come to the data entry and the first one is the region actually that is oromia then the cluster then zones then worada then year of completion of that project, then project category, project type, and project name. For example, the project type is, uh, project category is the bigger categorization. For example, for health, you can, project type could be hospital or health post, and the project name could be specific project, for example. Uh, Shashamani Hospital, for example, in this particular case. Then, unit and number of projects. Then, the budget spent on those projects. The number of people benefited from those projects or potentially be could be benefited from those projects. Then, the as a description, unique description of that project if it exists, if any. And then for road, kilometers of road, additional information specific to road. Then for hospitals, number of beds. And for universities, number of students enrolled in the, those universities or potential number that could be so this is the data entry table once you insert this data you will get the dashboard updated with a single click let's come to the detail of the dashboard and the original dashboard we can see everything on one page, but for the purpose of this presentation, I have just separate for 
for easy visibility and I'm going to present in detail so the first one is the number of projects here we, we can see from this demo data there are 26 projects the second one is the amount of budget spent on those projects which is over 1 billion and then the third one is the number of people benefited from those projects which is amounting 293,500 and we can see this data by different uh, slicers we can see by cluster for example we have I have used the cluster RC Bale, Burana Guji, Hararge, Jima, Ilu, Shawa and Wolaga as a clusters you can also see the data by zones we have 10 to 1 zones and we can also see the dashboard by project category for example education health and the like and we can also see by the implementation year and by what it does well if you like so it will be automatically changed and very interactive So if you like this video, please subscribe and share. On this uh, chart, I'm going to we're going to see the proportion of project by category. So the first pie chart shows the number of projects by category. For example, the factory uh, contribute 16 percent of the project and has 23 percent of the project so coming to the budget the proportion of the budget spent on those projects so the factory takes 46 percent of the share and the road 27 percent and so on so this is the detailed budget pro uh, proportion by different project category. The third one is the number of people benefited from those projects. The, for example, uh, factory takes 61% of the share and held 16% of the share and similarly others have their own share. So this is the the detailed uh, implementation in terms of number of project budget and number of people benefited so the column chart shows the performance of project by cluster and by year for example uh, as you can see rc ballet there are four projects in the rc ballet cluster in borona guji five in Hararge, four and so on the line chart shows the number of projects by major categories for example education uh, we have six projects for factory four projects health six project road six project and water four projects so the last one shows uh, specific data for uh, some sector for example for um, number of students in universities which is indicated for 4,000 for the health sector number of beds in the hospitals in this case 119 and for the road sector kilometers of road given this is 11 50. you can view the data by different zones so if you just click on one of the zone you will get the proportion of the data all detailed data which shows for a specific zone so the office that coordinate project can take this dashboard for free and use to track it is project performance in Romeo so they can get 
this dashboard for free if they like and I'm ready to give for them. Here we'll see the same data when it's classified zone. Example uh, here is for Burana and Guji zones. The two zones are selected and we'll see the performance here. The number of projects are four. Then the budget and number of people benefited are indicated. Coming to the pie chart, the number of projects is indicated for example the share of uh, the project is to TPC for education and health projects the budget is also indicated where education takes 80 percent similarly the number and proportion of people benefited by those project sectors are also indicated And the column chart it shows the four projects in the same cluster, with two of them are actually education and two of them are health projects. And there's also an additional data specific to universities or education sector as well. Here we can see the same data by different slicers. Number of project, budget, and number of people benefited, uh, number of project by cluster and the year, number of project by project category and detail. So those data can be seen by uh, project category which uh, based on your preference, it could be education, health, water, factory, or road project. You can see it by year of implementation. You can see it by cluster and by WORADA. On the next slide, we have a demo of the interactivity of this dashboard. And please, please view that as well. Thank you, and use the template for your project performance tracking, and see the next video. Hello, this is Project Performance Dashboard. This is for Oromia Development Project Dashboard. And as you can see, this is a very interactive dashboard. Let me introduce first what is the whole content of this dashboard and the first graph shows the total number of projects implemented the second shows total budget spent on the project and the third one is the total number of uh, people benefited from those projects you can see the the chart and the dashboard by different parameters you can see by clusters for example i have used this one for example rc poranaguji hararge jimma elu shaw and Olaga. this is a cluster it's very dynamic you can see by cluster you can see by zone You can see also by project category, for example, for water project or education or road project or factory. You can also see by year by clicking on this slicer on. You can also see by Worada if you like. So it is very dynamic and uh, also a uh, report on different project categories coming to the middle chart you get the proportion of uh, projects by 
different sectors, for example, by education, by health, by road and water projects. The middle one also shows the proportion of budgets spent on those projects. And this one shows the proportion of uh, population benefited from those projects. For example, uh, from factory, 61% of population are actually benefited from factory. You can keep on. And the this the red one shows the red bar part shows the number of project by cluster and by year. This is also the line chart shows the number of projects by different sectors and different projects have also different natures. So there are also other elements included here. For example, for for the universities, the number of uh, students enrolled in the college and the universities it is an additional information. And for for hospitals, the number of beds. And for the road, the number of kilometers built are included. If you just see all those things by cluster everything is actually changed as you can see it's very dynamic so you can see by any zone if you like or by any sector or by year or by Warada so this is very important and very interactive. I think this is very useful for the bureau that is actually coordinating the development sector in this region. So anyone interested in this dashboard can take free of charge. And thank you for listening. Hello, this is Project Performance Dashboard. This is for Oromia Development Project Dashboard. And as you can see, this is a very interactive dashboard. Let me introduce first what is the whole content of this dashboard. And the first graph shows the total number of projects implemented. The second shows total budget spent on the project. And the third one is the total number of uh, people benefited from those project. You can see the the chart and the dashboard by different parameters. You can see by clusters. For example, I have used this one. For example, RC, Porana, Guji, Hararge, Jimma, Elu, Shaw, and Olaga. This is a cluster. It's very dynamic. You can see by cluster. You can see by zone, you can see also by project category, for example, for water project or education or road project or factory. You can also see by year by clicking on this slicer on, you can also see by Worada if you like. So it is very dynamic and uh, also a report on different project categories. Coming to the middle chart, you get the proportion of uh, projects by different sectors, for example, by education, by health, by road and water projects. The middle one also shows the proportion of budgets spent on those projects. And this one shows the proportion of uh, population benefited from those projects. For example, uh, from factory, 61% of population are actually benefited from 
factory you can keep on and the this is the red one shows the red bar part shows the number of project by cluster and by year this is also the line chart shows the number of projects by different sectors and different projects have also different natures so there are also other elements included here for example for for the universities the number of uh, students enrolled in the college and the universities it is an additional information and for for hospitals the number of beds and for the road the number of kilometers built are included if you just see all those things by cluster everything is actually changed as you can see is very dynamic so you can see by any zone you like or by any sector or by year or by Warada so this is very important and very interactive I think this is very useful for the bureau that is actually coordinating the development sector in this region so anyone interested in this dashboard can take free of charge and thank you for listening